everybody, it's Leonice, and welcome back to my channel. Happy Friday. It's Friday, it's the end of the work week. Praise God. But anyway, today I am here to bring you all a mini haul. I'm going to consider it a mini haul because I didn't spend that much money, but it's quite a few products that I got. But some of them were on sale, I think. So that's a good thing. And then some of them were just like drugstore brands. It's the Target and Ulta haul. But before I get into that, y'all, if y'all notice that congestion sound coming from my voice right now, it is because I am getting over a cold, and that is all that you hear here. I am so congested, but I wanted to get this video out to you all, and yeah, so y'all can know that I'm still here, but I am sick, and I need to take some more medicine, but I hate taking medicine, but I'm going to go take some medicine as soon as I finish this video. Um... But before I share with you all the products that I bought in this haul, make sure you're subscribed to my channel by clicking the subscribe button down below. And after you click the subscribe button, make sure you click the little bell so that you can be notified for all of my new uploads. And yeah, so let's talk about what I got. And we're going to start with what I got from Target first. So <clears throat> I went to Target the other day and, excuse me guys, I told you, cold. And I wanted to get some elf products and I also wanted to find a um, some lashes because I'm gonna try to teach myself, which is I'm sure is very easy, how to apply false lashes so then I can show you all how to do it. But I'm gonna teach myself first. But I got the lip exfoliator from Elf. This is one of my favorite exfoliators. It's only let me see, let me check the receipt. It is only $3. And it's one of my favorite exfoliators. Like, it really works. All you have to do is just wet your lips, apply some, or rub this exfoliator on your lips. It's just like a lipstick. And then you take, I usually take like a wet paper towel, a damp paper towel, and wipe it off my lips. And then my lips are very smooth that I can apply my, uh, <clears throat> I'm so sorry, I'm just regarding all of this. But then you can apply all of your matte lipsticks, your lipsticks, whatever. You don't have to apply lipstick. You can just have nice, smooth, soft lips. And that is why I like this exfoliator. And I got the Sweet Cherry scent, flavor, whatever you want to call it. Because they have, they released like three new flavors. So I'm excited about seeing what this one tastes like. But I have to wait until I run out of the one I already have. Um, I bought this blending brush. And... I bought this one because I was watching somebody's channel. I don't remember who it was. I think it might have been Laura Lee. And she was talking about this brush and how she liked it because it's kind of like dome shaped, but it's flat. So that when she's blending in her crease, it really works because she can really get it there with the flat side. So I was like, hmm, let me try this brush. So I bought it. We're going to see how that works. Um, I also bought this waterproof eyeliner pen here. Uh, I like liquid eyeliners, but I also like to test out different ones because the one I use is from Jabot Cosmetics and it's actually my favorite liquid um, eyeliner, but it's like $18 and I have to order it every time I want it because it's only sold online. But like I said, it is one of my favorites, but I'm going to see if this one works out. This one was only $2, so we're going to see. It says it's waterproof, so we're going to actually see if this is waterproof or if it's going to run down my face. And it has one of those felt tips, so we're also going to see how that handles and if it's easy to use and work with. Next up, I got the Sonia Kashuk. I don't really know how to pronounce her last name, but she has a line with Target. I bought these faux lashes here. Um, see y'all again, the ring light reflection, but I think you can see them. And I bought these to start with. Um, they come with the glue, so we're going to see how these work out. And they say if you want full, flirty lashes. I really like them. I wanted something kind of natural. I don't want to do anything real dramatic because when I wear false lashes, like I kind of want it to look natural. So I, that's why I bought these. So that's it for Target. Let's start with Ulta. All right, so when I went to Ulta, I also bought some more lashes. These are the, from the Andrea collection there's five of a kind so they're all the same and it comes with an applicator so I bought these and I was like all right let me buy these these were these were on sale I think and I, they were $4.99 
So I bought these because I was like, if I mess up applying them, I have some extra ones so that I can just mess them as much as I want to. And they were only $5, so I could go buy some more. It's basically a dollar a pair. So I thought that was a good practice set to get. Um, I also bought these Cool Effect Shimmering, this Cool Effect Shimmering Shadow Trio. It comes with a gold, a bronze, and a silver. I really like the metallic eyeshadows that look like metal on your eyes. So I was like, oh, let me get these. These were all stuff for $8. And I was like, I really like these. I want to see what they're going to look like. And maybe I'll wear them out sometime. I'll probably just do a look for a video or something. Um, so yeah, I got those. And I bought this NYX lipstick in the shade Victorian. Let me open it so I can give you all a swatch. I like um, purples and red lipsticks. So, I mean, look at this purple I have on now. And by the way, this purple that I have on is Court K by Kylie Cosmetics. So back to this NYX one. It is an epic ink lip dye. And like I said, the shade is Victorian. So let's do a swatch. Watch guys, but don't judge me. Y'all see the color. It's a berry tint. I wonder if this is a if it dries matte. I guess we'll have to wait and see if this dries matte. But I like the shade. Don't y'all like it? Uh, and if you watch, no, I haven't released that video yet. Um, so I am starting a trying to get into like a schedule, which I kind of discussed in my video that I'm posting on Sunday. Um, so I'm thinking about doing like subscription box Sunday, mask Monday, and then I'm trying to do like a video on Friday, but I think I just wanted to kind of be like a random theme. So if y'all have a hashtag for Friday, leave that in the comments. But anyway, so like I said, well, I'm starting mask Monday and mask Monday is just where I will uh, do first impression videos of different masks that I've bought and just trying out to see how they work. And they've actually made me some masks that I use on a regular basis. And not just, they won't just be masks, uh, full face masks, they may be like um, nose strips or any type of skincare product that works. But it's just, I'm just gonna lump it all under uh, mask Monday. So to get my mask Monday started, I bought four different masks. And the first mask is the Body Shop Ethiopian Honey Mask. And it says it's a deep nourishing mask. So I'm gonna try that one out. It's a liquid. We'll see how that one works. I saw, when I researched, I saw mixed reviews on it, but we'll see in the coming weeks how that one works. Also bought the formula 10.0.6 uh, Be Berry Smooth Moisturizing Mask. Moisturizing Pill Mask. So I've really been trying to try, uh, I've seen a lot of videos and well, like Instagram people trying these pill masks and I think they're really, really cool. Like I like to see the mask like literally being peeled off of your face and you see like the skin on it. I think that's so cool. So I want to see how these work and these really work. The reviews for this one were really good and this product wasn't that expensive. I think it was like $7 or $8. And take a So I can smell this even though I'm congested and it... It smells like berries. It smells so good. So I'm excited about trying this one. This one might be on my next mask Monday. Um, I also bought these Biore Free Your Pores Deep Cleansing Charcoal Pore Strips. So I um, noticed that I kind of get like blackheads somewhat on my nose here every now and then. So I want to see if these are going to work. And hopefully they do. So these are also going to be a part of Mask Monday. And the last mask that I bought is this Miss Fa 24 Karat Gold Cream Mask. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, this is a sheet mask, but it could be. Actually, it's not a sheet mask. It's actually a cream mask, guys. Obviously, cream mask is in the title. <laughs> it's a cream mask. So I look forward to trying this. Like I said, it's 24 karat gold, so I, I'm assuming it's gonna be gold, but we will find out soon enough if this is actually a gold mask and if it really works. But anyway, so like I said, this was a mini haul. Oh wait, 
Y'all, one more product to share with you. This has nothing to do with my haul, but I don't know if y'all... <clears throat> I'm so sorry. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. Forgive me for all of this cold that I have going on. Hopefully by the next time y'all see me, I won't be so sick. But recently I ordered this Gerard Cosmetics lipstick, one of their metallics. And I bought this because I have been seeing these all over Instagram for months now. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try it. I had a they had a coupon going on and it was like they were like eleven dollars or something. So I said, yes, I'm getting one. But let's talk about this packaging first. So in the box, the lid of the box, they have this nice little letter. And I thought that was just so cool. It's different because a lot of brands don't do this. And for them to put this in their box, and at the end it has like a, um, in the last paragraph it has a, a text code or a number that you can text to get like updates. I thought that was really cool. So I really like that about this box. Like I was really pleased when I opened the box. And that's really why I wanted to share this. But the shade I got is a uh, grape crush and it reminded me of the beauty bakery shade i actually think that was called grape crush too it's like a metallic grape purple shade and you see the tube here it's a frosted glass with a gold top on it and i love i love frosted glass i think it looks so expensive kind of um but let's see what this swatches Look at that. It is giving me exactly what I thought it would give me. Yes. Yes. Look at this. Is this not everything? Look at the shade. Oh my god, I love this. I am wearing this to happy hour tonight when I go. Oh my god, I love this. And this NYX shade is matte and it's smudge proof, y'all. Look at that. I have some winners here on my hand and I'm not gonna be on this video long enough to let y'all know whether or not this other one dries matte but I think it is a matte shape it is it says metal matte on the bottom oh, I'm so excited I'm so excited but anyway so let me not keep y'all here longer than y'all need to be um, like I said at the beginning of the video make sure you subscribe down below and you should already be subscribing if not please subscribe and if you are new to my channel, I'm so glad that you joined us today. And if you are a returning viewer, I'm also glad that you're here and that you are continuing to watch my videos. I hope you will continue to stick around. Leave me some comments down below and let me know if there are any products that you would like for me to review or do first impression videos on. If you have any masks that you would like to see, also leave those in the comments. And yeah, I will see you all back here on Sunday with Subscription Box Sunday. Have a good Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So, so a good weekend until I see you all again. See you.